Well, it is unique in the sense that here is a man, Ranjan Mellava, who had gone across 11 countries and had seen six World Cup finals. I don't think there are many people like that. That is one, one aspect of it. The second aspect is, he has kept details statistically and giving incidents of how he has followed all of this. It is actually unbelievable. Because I don't think anybody could have done it at this level. They may have pe other people may have gone and watched games here and there. But he had done it very meticulously and kept a record for all of us to read. Yes, certainly yes, he has done that very, very well. And in fact, uh, if you want to read the book for, from a literary angle, this one point, even if you want to get statistics, you can collect that as well. There are so many, actually, I don't know what to pick. There are so many incidents, anecdotes. Now, friends, I'll tell you one, I can just immediately strike my mind, is how we'll come to this point later where fans should be treated better. Where he was standing in a queue uh, to go to the toilet and he saw a former Sri Lankan captain going to the back of the queue but here is a man who respects cricketers and he told him, look, come and take my place and he went to the rear. Uh, it's an encyclopedia, no doubt, because he gives all the facts and figures. Well, a work of art, that's a very difficult question to answer, but I would put it this way. You see, he even refers to literature, for instance, about Charles Dickens. Right, and where he refers to a cricket match played at, during that time. Then also he refers to uh, William Birdsworth and uh, to quote, he says, there's an analogy of 10,000 daffodils. That's a poem written by uh, Birdsworth, 10,000 daffodils. And he says, when he won a T20 World Cup, he says, there were 30,000 souls expressing uh, themselves in a joyous dance, right? Now, that is literary. You see, to refer to Charles Dickens and uh, about Pickwick Papers in that, in that particular book, which happens to be my favourite book as well, right? He refers to that and he also refers to William Birdsworth. I don't think any cricket writer, which includes me, would have written those things. No, there have been uh, books written by fans. Now, for instance, the greatest, in my opinion, and I'm sure Ranjan will agree with me, the cricket writer was Neville Cardus. Now, Cardus has not played cricket, right? He was actually a, a, a person who used to write for the Manchester Guardian newspaper he, on music. But his uh, language and uh, of course, the statistics are not that great, but uh, th that is the, uh, you don't have to have played cricket to be a writer. He was a secretary or president, I'm not sure of that, of the Ragama Cricket Club. So he had sort of first-hand experience of uh, cricket administration. And uh, I can't even mention the type of uh, uh, problems they had in administration because it's always politics, politics and politics. And how Ranjan uh, maneuvered himself there is, is an achievement by itself. Well, uh, yes, I mean, a person like Roshan Mahanama is uh, very uh, respected. In fact, he was a, uh, with uh, this man uh, Madugal. He was a uh, in the cricket administration, so that his words uh, means a lot. Ranjan is by profession a banker. I mean, they are good at counting, I suppose. But Ranjan has shown himself as a person 
who has helped young cricketers for instance greatly he had done a lot on that aspect also so that here is a man who not only did his uh, duty to bear his uh, of his work was concerned but he played his part as a good husband good father looked after his education and so forth so i can't see anything amiss where he, that aspect is concerned i think favorite is that uh, i enjoyed i am also a bit of a cricketer and uh, also i'm very literary minded so it it uh, blended very well and also i have been a statistician also so that everything in this book is complete that's why i called it an encyclopedia i mean i was just not throwing words i meant every word what i have written uh, what i have reviewed and what my opinion is